Greetings, everybody. Hope you all are well. And this is the follow up video to the post I had put up yesterday regarding the mystery shoe. A little blurry here, but uh, let's get that in focus for you. Well, let's get me in focus first. But this is the mystery shoe. This is a shoe by Carmina, as you can see there. This is a Carmina Shell Cordovan. Adelaide on their Simpson last using a Ruby Cordovan shell that is uh, well known in the lineup of Carmina Shoemaker. So let's talk a little bit about Carmina because I think that Carmina may not get enough love, even though it's a very well regarded brand in the industry. Um, it's a brand that I want to see talked about more here on the shoe forum. And so I decided to seek out a few pairs. I was lucky to find this on the used market, essentially brand new. You can even see the sole is essentially unworn, a very lovely JR sole. Let's talk a little bit about Carmina while I feature this shoe. So look at these lovely curves. The broguing detail around the, the opening of the shoe here, the lovely brogue along the Adelaide, kind of the plain toe with the medallion, very, unique and prominent medallion. This shoe is really fantastic. These shoes, the Cordovan line from Carmina, um, typically retails for around $800. Um, and then you can get certain finishings done to increase the price. But the bottom line is it's a fairly expensive shoe. So certainly awesome if you can find one on the used market as I was able to do. But what you get is really high quality shoes. I think Carmina has become known as a very, very powerful competitor at the medium price point that competes with shoes that are at much higher level. And they obviously have to cut a few corners to be able to achieve that price point. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that in the context of this shoe. Um, and then one other pair that I have greatly enjoyed, which is this pair. Um, this is also purchased used I was really lucky to get these pairs used. This is a double monk on the Inca last using a bourbon shell cordovan. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. So you can kind of tell a few differences. We'll talk about these lasts and we'll talk about these shoes a little bit more and we'll talk about shell cordovan. So let's talk about Carmina. Carmina has been around for quite a few years now, since the late 1990s, I believe, and actually the shoemaking family that started Carmina has been at it for over 100 years, um, but they came into their current existence as a retailer in Spain back in the late 1990s and have continued to grow their presence internationally, partly through some of their online sales, but also their brick and mortar presence. They just recently developed a shoe, um, or sorry, a store in New York City. Um, so if you have a chance to be in the city once travel restrictions loosen up, um, it's probably well worth checking out these shoes in person. But I wanted to give you a little preview while we're all waiting for that moment. So um, beautiful last, this is their Simpson last, which is a more narrowed last. I mean, it's still, Alas, that's close to true to size. I actually picked a pair that was uh, half size up for my Brannock. Um, I have a standard width foot and uh, you can see it's a somewhat elongated last here, but not too elongated. It's got a nice soft square, slightly squared, but really kind of fairly, fairly, fairly soft um, curve here and a beautiful ruby color, which really shines. Um, in different lights. There's times where this in kind of muddier light looks brownish. Um, in fluorescent light can kind of take on various different sort of looks. Outdoors, this really kind of pops red. So it's a shoe with a number of characters that can fit in a number of circumstances. This is obviously something that uh, can be worn dressed up or dressed down. Um, certainly has elements of both. The detailing is incredible. You can kind of see some of the stitch density properties. This is a Goodyear welted shoe, it has a closed channel sole, metal toe taps. You can get those uh, replaced with a uh, uh, metal toe tip from, I believe, uh, a Lulu toe, toe, toe plate. Um, you can see the heel here, it's the JR heel. Using a JR sole costs a little bit more money than Carmina's own sole, but you can see nice beveled 
somewhat tight waist. The previous owner hadn't even taken off the sticker yet. So this really feels pretty, pretty new. And um, you can see the heel here. It's kind of a block heel on this model. Uh, fairly tight to the body here, but a block heel nonetheless with a little bit of nice detailing at the top. Um, stacked leather heel. Um, overall, really nice standard well-proportioned shoe made of really, really high quality materials. So we're gonna talk a little bit about shell cordovan. I wanna do that using this shoe. This is also the Carmina that I showed earlier um, to talk a little bit about shell cordovan. You can see that shell cordovan has somewhat different properties than um, traditional crust leather. So cordovan comes from the derriere of a horse. It's actually a membrane, it's a subcutaneous. So under the skin membrane, that is found in the derriere or the hindquarters of the horse as uh, two different patches. There's, therefore, there's a lot less of it than there is horse hide or other types of leather that are used to make shoes. So cordovan has different properties. It doesn't tend to wrinkle, but rather when it um, folds, it actually forms these kind of rolls. You can see I've worn this pair a couple of times and the previous owner had worn this a bunch. And you can see the rolls that have formed here. It's not really creasing as much as it is rolls. I did a little bit of shining on the toe um, here, the, the cap toe with some Pure Polish products. If you ever have a chance, you should really take a look at Pure Polish. I, I've switched over from using Saphir products to Pure Polish products. I am not a paid uh, employee or and get any benefit from saying that. I just really love their products. I think they get a really nice shine and they do a great job on shining up Cordovan. I think there's kind of controversy as to what how you care for Cordovan. Some people say just take a brush and brush it off and it kind of maintains a really nice shine kind of at about this level here. But it also is a leather that takes a really nice mirror shine if you just do some wax polish and maybe a little bit of high polish uh, wax paste um, or wax polish. Uh, cream polishes won't give you this type of shine on Cordovan, but certainly wax polishes can do that with a little bit of buffing and a little bit of elbow grease. As I mentioned, this is the Inca Last. This particular model has a slightly tapered heel. You can see the taper there um, of the heel block, which fits really nice. And as I mentioned, the Inca Last has a slightly wider, more almond shaped toe, um, beautiful cap toe. And I was able to apply the mirror shine at a place where I was comfortable because I knew that the leather would not crease. Um, with this pair um, here, I did a little mirror shine, maybe a little less aggressively than on this pair here. Um, but on this pair, I basically did a little bit of shine on the, the, the medallion and a little past medallion, assuming that it's going to crease right around where you're starting to see that fold there. So Cordovan leather, really part of, um, it's debatable whether it's even leather at all, um, but at the end of the day, it's made to use um, and wear similar to leather. It seems to last really a long period of time if well cared for, well hydrated and well conditioned. But if with a little bit of standard shoe care and keeping it protected, it will last you forever and really has unique properties that price it above the market. So again, here's Carmina's Inca Last. You can kind of see that on their Double Monk using a bourbon, beautiful bourbon shell, um, Cordovan. Nice stitching detail there. There's your Goodyear welt you can kind of see there. Beautiful option here. And here's the JR sole that I kind of showed earlier. There we go. And here is a more standard Carmina sole with a rubber toppy. So this is their, their Cordovans. I think Carmina is known very, very well for being a fantastic Cordovan producer um, uh, coming out of Europe and out of Spain. They have a wide variety of Cordovan leathers that are, um, are very easy to secure a color that you like, unlike companies like Alden that really carry either a color eight, which is almost like an eggplant skin colored cordovan or a black cordovan. And the rest of the colors they release are on very limited quality. They're called rare shell through Horween. Um, most companies don't provide the, the diversity of color that is available through Carmina. So um, keep them in mind when you're thinking about maybe your first pair of shell cordovan shoes, their price point is pretty accessible. Um, I brought up that I have another pair of Carmina here. This is a crust leather and you can see the crust has a different kind of property to 
how it, you know, it almost looks a little bit more porous. The creasing is a little different. You can see the wrinkles starting to form from a few wears. Again, pure polish products on a crust leather providing a nice low impact shoot um, mirror shine. I didn't go full. I don't like to go full out on my mirror shines. I like to kind of give them a little bit of a high finish, high gloss finish, but not quite a reflective finish. Um, we'll see if my mood changes. This is a shoe that I've worn a bunch already. And this is Carmina's sole. So you can see the difference between what a, um, a less used and a more used sole might look like. You can start to see, even though this closed channel stitching, you can start to see, well, there's a little bit of uh, the stitch pattern showing on the edges here. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about Carmina. Um, this is really, really beautiful. This is the Black Cap to Oxford. That was the first of my many high-end pairs that I bought, a very versatile shoe. Once you start getting into shoes like Adelaide's, this is a very formal shoe that you can wear in almost all circumstances from weddings to business meetings. <clears throat> Obviously, this pair will give you a lot more attention, a little less formal because of its styling and its color. It's more of a showpiece and beautiful. Again, as I mentioned, here, I'll do it this way. So you can kind of see the beautiful elements in the shoe. And then finally, the um, beautiful, um, lovely, somewhat used, but really outstanding um, double monk. So that's your preview on Carmina. Um, Goodyear welted shoes coming out of uh, Spain and Mallorca, I believe, is where they come from. Um, Cordovan is one of their specialty leathers or um, upper options. And then they've use crust as well for a lower price point. You're gonna expect and receive really high quality, well-built shoes um, that are, are good you're welted, not hand welted in most cases, unless you select certain MTO options and uh, high, high quality leathers that are gonna be capable of lasting you a lifetime if cared for well. So that is the video and that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will look forward to seeing you whenever we can see each other next. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.